everything okay? What are you doing out here? Ask my grandmother. I risked leaving guard duty to look for her. She stopped to see the bloom, and now she won't leave. Since when does she care about flowers? They're not just flowers, child. They're scarlet stems with a scent that soothes the nerves. Or so I was told many years ago by an Utaru seed tracker. An Utaru? Now you're telling stories. If one trespassed here back then, you'd have killed him on sight. I couldn't. Found him picking flowers, right near here, in Tanakh territory. I was all set to strike him down, but he was singing. <laughs> singing? Can't remember the tune now. Just the lilt of his voice. And his name, Nilo. He decided to stay for a day or two. I took guard duty here so I could keep coming back to him. And he kept delaying his return to plain song. For the flowers, he said. Please don't tell me I'm descended from a Nutaro gardener. Almost. Almost. But the thrill of battle called to me, and he had to return to his people. I've always wondered about the life I missed with him, whether he misses it too. Would he welcome me in plain song, or at least accept a scarlet stem? It's a long way to plain song, but I get back there now and then. I could pick some scarlet stems and bring them to Nilo. If I can find him. Please. He was an herbalist there. I know the time has long since passed. But I'd like to know. Well, I'd like him to know. Ugh, you know what I mean. I think I do. Encouraging an old woman? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't I? She'll find that Nilo guy? I thought you didn't care. I don't. Not really. Override fixed. You can use it on Ravagers now.
Sounds like those Tanakh soldiers have gotten themselves in trouble again. I should look for the herbalist. Might still be Nilo. I could give him the scarlet stems. the old growth. Outlander, what can I do for you? You're the herbalist here, right? Are you Nilo? No, Nilo was before my time. I think he went up north a while back to river him. Why? Do you need a special solve? No, but someone else does, in a way. Thanks. I'll try river him. Glad I could help. I hope you find what you're looking for in River Him.
Stretch those wings. Okay, river him. I should look for Nilo. Nice scarlet stems. Save those smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. I want everyone fortifying the pass. Ah, your warriors seem... Green as early spring. There are children playing with sticks. It's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts. But it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault. And if they bring machines with them, we'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that. They taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only one Horror you can. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now. We may speak freely here. I'm here looking for someone. One of your healers. Our healers are helping the wounded. Whoever you're looking for can wait till Riverhem is no longer under attack. Fair enough. So, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I sent my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide moths leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Voss has yet to return. 
We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, fights better than ten warriors put together. You're well known, and so is your little disagreement with the chorus. Can't Plainsong help? Plainsong has abandoned all settlements this far out. Then why not just leave? They're clearly outnumbered and under-equipped. We could leave. Head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them Winter Song. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands. As do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. I'm sorry about your daughter. The raid took her from me. I found my peace in every Karja that fell beneath my spear. Now all I have left of her is planted in the grove here. No Tanakh will force me out. Do all Utaru carry seeds with them? We are given our pouches soon after we're born. When we die, the seeds are buried. A reminder that our deaths bring new life. It is how we remain one with the rhythm of the world. You know Zo? <laughs> I knew the warrior who led the bravest of my tribe against the Karja. But the Zo that came back from the route spends too much time dwelling on things that just had to be done. I'm not one for regrets. What makes the path up to the drum root so dangerous? It's a cave of sunken passages and gaping caverns that only the very skilled can navigate. It serves as a safe haven for my people, but machines have patrolled its deepest passageways ever since the derangement. Even so, River Hem and the Grove live off its waters. We are connected to it as much as we are to the seeds growing behind you. Oh, if there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. With those paws and a whole lot of luck, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground and my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. Almost there. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. I can take it from here. I'll get the pots your people need. Don't worry. Once again, we are with plenty. I guess I better start finding my way up to the top. to find a way up there.
spines. Maybe there's a way through the caves back here. If I time it right, I might be able to jump and use my polecaster to get to the other Wide moss. There they are. Those pods they're ejecting. They must be the ones Q needs. Looks like I can just pick them up once they're full of ground. Quite I can get them up with the machines even when they're here.
check the wide moss for pods. There we go. That should do it. Better get back to Q with these. Got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find Voss? When this is over, I'll make sure we find his seeds and plant them in the grove. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be. these young ones knew how to aim after all. Even so, we owe you this victory, Huntress. It wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here, Q. I just brought in some parts. Even so, I want you to have this. It did good by my people. It'll do good by you. I'll take good care of it. Before, you said you were looking for a healer. Yes, a man by the name of Nilo. Nilo? You should speak to Gia. With Riverham safe once again. I'm sure you will find her attending the grove. Thank you, Q. Be safe out there. Kato. Mm. Did she say Nilo? You're back. Uh, hi there. Nora, here. You're a long way from home. I suppose I am. I'm looking for an herbalist named Nilo. I think I heard you say his name. You've come to the right place. His seeds were buried here, where he tended the blooms of others. 
including my mother's. I'm his daughter, Gia. How long has he been gone? Some five years now. He put a lot of love into this grove. Almost as much as he gave me. That's why I could never abandon River Him. I'd like to leave some flowers, if I may, from an old friend of his. <laughs> Scarlet stems. They're rare in these parts, but they were his favorite. I never knew why. He planted them whenever he could, but never picked them. Prefer to just watch them bloom. Sounds about right. So he was a good man who led a full life? He was. And he did. I don't know who this old friend is, but if my father liked them, they must be a good soul. Look, the Outlander's back. I can still see well enough, girl. Is my long vigil over? You have word from my grandmother's gardener? Yes and no. I laid the scarlet stems at his grave. His favorite flower, according to his daughter. Always loved to watch them bloom. He's gone. But he did think of me over the years. That'll have to be enough. Really? That's it? Are you sure you got the right guard... herbalist? Huh. Seemed like you thought it was a fool's errand. Well, it's just that it meant something to you. It could have been a whole other life. Could have been. But this life hasn't turned out so bad. I even have a granddaughter who cares enough to come looking for me out in the wilds. And I've still got scarlet stems to remind me of Nilo. Sounds like your grandmother's got it all figured out. Maybe she does. Just tell me the next time you want to come out here, okay? Instead of disappearing? Maybe I will. Here, Outlander. Take this. For helping an old woman to remember she was once young. Thank <laughs> you.